Welcome to another Bachata Lab with La Suerte Dansku. Michal and my guest today, T. Some people like to call him Bachati. <laughs> so, a person who is uh, really into Bachata, who wakes up with Bachata, goes for, through whole day just listening to Bachata, and then before he goes to sleep, he listens to Bachata as well, and probably dances in kitchen. Including, so, in, yeah, you can you can include a lot of dancing in between as well. Yeah. Um, so, so he is a pa person really passionate about uh, Bachata music. So I think it's a very, very good um, guest for this episode. And uh, what we are going to talk today about? We are going to talk talk about about bachata musicality. Probably I'll have to do two episodes um, about this topic. Today we'll talk about instruments and about the basic rhythms that these instruments are doing. And the next one, uh, if you will like this one, if you leave some nice comments, uh, we are going to do about the structure of the song. I think this is quite an important aspect as well. Why the rhythm is changing so much in bachata, how does it work, how the song is constructed, how to predict music. But that's next episode, so, you know, subscribe button under the video if you want to see that. But today we are going to talk first about instruments. One thing that is important to mention is that bachata has different styles, different genres, you can say. Eh? You have traditional bachata, yes, yes. You, you have something what you like, you guys like to call bachata moderna, yeah. and the modern sensual stuff. Eh? Well, that's what we think, I mean, I'm, I might be wrong, but we think Dominican bachata is the first mm. form of it, and pure form of it, and then the bachata moderna, mm -hmm. and then the third form yeah, the, <laughs> the third form, the, 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 the fusion, form. the fusion, the, the fusion. The third form, the sensual bachata. We are not going to talk about how, how they differ in uh, dancing, but we'll talk about music today. And uh, we'll start for, with, with the traditional bachata, with the Dominican bachata. And some people don't like to call it Dominican bachata because all bachata is Dominican. Yeah? But okay. to differ differentiate it, to say that this is the bachata music coming from the island, like original one, uh, traditional, like um, closely associated to Dominican culture. Sometimes we call it Dominican bachata as well. Um, yeah, I think the, the more common uh, word now is, is traditional bachata. Anyway, in traditional bachata setup, we have only five instruments. Uh, and I actually brought them here. Oh, that's good. So we have guira, boom, um, metal tube with the scraper, super loud instrument. Normally when we play it in a band, we put something inside just to make it quieter. There are smaller mm. ones uh, that are a bit higher pitch and not as loud. Yeah, mine is like really, really or, uh, massive. Or as I call it, cheese grater with a comb. Yeah, cheese grater <laughs> with a comb, yeah. It's a good way to memorize. This is guira. Just to compare, this is guiro. So the instrument used in salsa music or in general Cuban music, son, cha-cha-cha, um, it's or plastic or wooden, sometimes from plexiglass. Eh? It's, it's basically um, a different material. There are no uh, metal guiros. And, and yeah, the gr alien face. <laughs> Not every guiro has alien face. This one does. Yeah. Uh, OK, second instrument, bongo drums. Oh. These are bongos. The daddy. When we talk about bachata sensual, uh, some people, especially with the initial remixes, they called it bongo chata. Bongo chata? Bongo chata. So basically having pop song with the bongo on top of yeah. it. And here we go. And that's that's go. almost got, bachata. bachata Obviously these days, bachata remixes got way, way better. Yeah. Some of them are sung from, the, uh, yeah. from scratch as well. Um, sometimes they just take vocal and change the whole change. instrumentation. But bongo is obviously a very, very important instrument. Uh, again, these drums are congas, the big ones. Sometimes I can ask people in beginner salsa class, what are those? And they say like, oh, these are, con these are bongos. And obviously, no, bongos are the small ones. And congas are the big ones. On top of that, we have three guitars in bachata. Actually, T, if you can grab one, it's in, uh, you don't have to take it out. Everybody knows how to how how guitar looks. Uh, but um, we have two guitars in bachata music. Yeah, and this one actually, this is bass guitar. So we have bass guitar. Um, it's not connected, so I can't really play it. It's all right. We'll play it, everything in a minute uh, fr from from the laptop. Um, anyway, we have bass guitar and we have two traditional guitars, there can be acoustic, there can be electric, 
or electric and acoustic. One of them is a rhythmical guitar and one of them is lead guitar. Sometimes there is a secondary guitar as well. But in general, in basic setup, we have rhythmical guitar, we have lead guitar that is playing all solos, and we have bass guitar playing very characteristical for bachata rhythm as well. And now we'll move on to those rhythms. So now we'll share our screen with you, and uh, I'm on the website emusicality.co.uk. Fantastic website. Uh, I discovered mm -hmm. it not long time ago. Uh, I found out that the author of it is Pierre Henry. Is um, a bachata teacher from London. He teaches bachata dancing, and mm. uh, he does musicality classes as well. Ah, mm. and he must have his presence. Yeah, I, I, to be honest, I, I don't know him personally, but I can feel that we could connect basing on on what he created in here, because I think that the musicality in general is essential part of dancing. This is the grammar of the language that we are learning. And this website is, is great. Uh, there are six different songs broken down into sections. As you can see when I am jumping here on, on the top, you have introduction, you have chorus, you have verse, you have mambo section. We'll talk all about all of it uh, in the next episode. For now, we'll concentrate on the left section of this page and we'll discuss um, instruments. And I already marked bongo only, and this is the first instrument we are going to start with. And I'll go to the uh, verse section, because in intro, normally you don't have full percussion yet, mm. yes? So let's say that we are going to start with the verse, and we are going to listen to the basic bongo rhythm. Basic bongo rhythm is called martillo, and this rhythm is present not only in bachata, but also in other uh, Latin styles. So Latin styles, so you have it, you have martillo in salsa, in son, in cha-cha-cha, uh, in bolero as well. So I'm putting it on and just listen. four and eight and now when we reach the end of the uh, phrase then the solo part appears but again we'll discuss that next time for now what is important for me is only that you pay attention to this tuku 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 pa tuku 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 pa tuku 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 pa tuku 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 pa okay let's stop it here um, so obviously a part of basic patterns, we always have these improvisations. Uh, improvisations are happening in certain moments of the phrase. That's why, I'm, again, that's content for the next episode. But this is like you, you were asking me before we started recording, how a person can use this knowledge about musicality to dancing. So, for example, yeah. to predict... See how you... See, there, there, are, there are different instruments playing in different times. And, but, but yes, how do you use it? Mm. You know, how you can utilize it when you're dancing. Yeah. What's the best so, way of so, doing so, it? So, so, so the most important aspect about it, I mean, there are many. Stage one <laughs> of learning musically is basically locating yourself in the rhythm, putting um, yeah. your feet on one, yeah. two, three, yeah. five, six, seven. Yes. And, and then if, if, you, if you think about um, uh, bongo step by itself, sorry, if you think about bongo rhythm by itself and our step, yeah, you have three steps and tap, so you have... Yeah, exactly. Tap, step, step, step and tap. Step, step, step and tap. Step, step, step and tap. On very, very basic level, yeah? This is, this is like, let's say, level, level one. Mm, now, because of this rolls, because of this improvisation, it also adds a lot to understanding the structure. But again, I'll get back to that in the next episode. Today we are concentrating on the basics. Yeah? So from bongo you will not find the rhythm because it doesn't tell you which side is left, which side is right. Yeah? So you don't know where is one, where is five. Basically the same pattern repeats twice yeah, uh, exactly. during one phrase. Yeah. Um, as and identifying the end, which end you're on, is a bit difficult. On the yes, bongo. obviously, obviously, obviously. Uh, and a s similar thing happens with, with the, um, guira. When it comes to guira, Two basic rhythms. First, derecho. Let's listen. Let's listen to that. One and two and three and four and five. Twice faster yeah. than the beat. Sixteen. Sixteen. Six. Yeah. Hits. 
obviously improvisations as well, especially coming close to the end of the stage. And Mahao, second pattern on the beat. Chicky, chicky. Again, some improvisations, but basic. Especially in the chorus part, yeah? Uh, again, we'll discuss that next time, when, which patterns are playing and how to uh, feel the changes between parts of the song. But for now, important thing is to, again, uh, see the difference between playing every half of the beat or every beat. Uh, and now, if I put bongos and guira together, now we will have exactly what we are calling, uh, what, what we called before uh, bongo chata, because bongo chata actually yeah. includes guira as well. So guira and the bongos. So you, so they basically in the beginning copy pasted it on the song. And yeah, but this, like this, is, this is how first remixes yeah. worked. Yes, obviously. Now, um, when we say that it's difficult to find the end of the phrase or the beginning of the phrase, normally improvisations again at the end. So, not so obvious, but... Still gives out the clues. Yeah, definitely. The and when, when and it's keeps approaching the grooves. It. Yeah. And keeps the groove for you and uh, creates this um, yeah. momentum for the step, yeah, basically. When it's, when it's approaching the music change, it creates the, the environment that is yes, going there. Yes, definitely, definitely, definitely. Sometimes it's difficult to listen to these small elements, but they are always there. They are always there. Okay, let's go through the bass. Bass line in bachata. Uh, it's uh, basically a habanera rhythm, so it's playing one, end of two, three, four, uh, five, end of six, seven, eight. Mm? Kind of tricky. So it goes tum 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 tum. Mm, if you if you are wondering why is it called habanera, Google uh, Carmen Opera habanera part. So it's tum 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 Listen to that. I can't play it because it's obviously copyrighted. So this is this is one of the problems why we never do this musicality uh, online videos because it's so difficult to find tools like that that I can actually use um, during the video. Otherwise, it would be copyright hit. See you later. Anyway, to the point. Baseline. Interesting thing is Okay, interesting thing about this There's no big stop on 8 um, No, not necessarily sometimes again they do the variation in the end yeah? So um, what what T is is, is, is is noticing now This is something what I would like you to do Go to this website emusicality.co.uk and analyze the songs by yourself. You'll notice definitely more aspects than we are talking about. We are introducing uh, you to it and we are just showing you very, very uh, basics, uh, basic aspects. Uh, important thing about the bass is again the same idea as before, the same short pattern repeated twice. Yeah. So um, from that, it is already possible to find one and five because of the wave. We'll talk about the wave in a moment. Uh, I always like to introduce this concept uh, on our classes, but let's go a bit further. Uh, let's combine bass, guira, and bongos together. And one more time, the same. <laughs> And now you have a pretty good bachata feel. So 
these three instruments, finding the rhythm, mm -hmm. it's all right already. Uh, okay, but I'll, I'll introduce you also to uh, rhythm guitar. I think I never did it on, on uh, any class, to be honest. Mm. Um, a rhythmical guitar might, in bachata. It might solve my problems. <laughs> mm. uh, on, on, on a rhythmical guitar in bachata is playing the same rhythm over and over as well. So check this out. Okay. On a beat a lot. And if I add other two, so other three instruments. Guitar. Normally you don't pay attention to that because it's like somewhere in the background. Now I'm getting slight understanding of how to use it. Now this is mambo section. So then this is the moment when uh, putting the lead guitar makes sense. And it. So there are two different lead guitars. Yeah? So, so this is how it works and what we didn't add yet are obviously uh, vocals. Some people say, okay, vocals are definitely instruments. Yeah. <laughs> so I, we, we're, saying, we're saying about five, but if we add vocals, then obviously it's more. And like I say, in this song, there are two different lead guitars. So now, uh, just to summarize it a, a bit, I'll play the same section of the song with everything on it, with everything on it. So two lead guitars, uh, lead vocals, backing vocals, and again, starting from the same verse part. Even singing is in the rhythm. And this way. First four beats up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four up. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Even solo on guitar the same. Voices here improvise quite a bit. Uh, no, I mean, not improvise, but play, uh, sing, sing a bit uh, more irregular, I would say modern pattern. It is important that majority of the singers, all good singers, sing in the rhythm. And uh, you can take quite a bit of the rhythm uh, from, from, from the singers, mm -hmm. especially when you have the, the introduction section of the song. Mm. <laughs> There is not that strong percussion section yet. Yeah? It starts with some guitar. this discussion actually um, so in, in, in this song you cannot say that the rhythm is changing you can't actually, no, actually it doesn't the, the, it doesn't change however the, singer creates the impression of changing of the rhythm starting singing on five uh, so that might confuse some beginners yeah. um, in many sometimes actually sometimes we actually started on five 
Yeah, yeah, he did. that's what I mean, that's what I mean. Uh, but uh, I, I had this discussion with one of the Cuban musicians, obviously, in, in, yeah, he plays sometimes bachata as well. But uh, what he told me is that they have this ongoing discussion whether musicians should care about dancers. Yeah, so when I create a song, mm -hmm. should I care about the, dancers, the fact that it's, it's going to be danced or should I create how I feel? Um, and what, what happens if, if I create a, a, as I feel? The structure changes, the yeah, rhythm the structure changes, changes, the rhythm changes. Because if yeah. you create it for the dancers, you'll have it structured in that very way. Mm -hmm. But if you don't, if, but if you're doing it, you know, very openly. Yes. Then, but then again, <laughs> then again, you for experienced dancers, it's kind of fun when the rhythm keeps changing. Then again, it's it's you might compromise on creativity. Yeah. Because you because you have to be bounded by the structure. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. definitely. But but in general, the idea is that the first level of understanding music is to dance to the rhythm. And now, when we do all the sensual moves, all the uh, flowy elements, uh, head rolls, hip movements, waves, things like that, do they have to stick to the rhythm? Obviously, yes. Obviously, yes. And those are the ones that look good. Mm. Because the ones that are synced in with the, you know, with the music and their movements are precisely on the time, they look beautiful. Mm. And if their like, music is not ending and I ended my wave or move, then it will look... Mm. It but will at look the same time, yes, at the same time, again, this is, this is more content, content for the next episode. Um, there are different sections of the music when different instruments are coming up. And for example, if I have guitar solo, <laughs> all these head rolls, all these waves wouldn't work with it. Nice footwork maybe would. Yeah, so, um, and then at the same time, you have these bridges when the bass drops, and especially in um, in remixes or something what people like to call trap chata. Like just. They call it what? Trap chata. It's trap, trap is a. Um, genre of music mm. uh, it's, it's been implemented in salsa even in one of the uh, songs in here oh yes oh yes <laughs> i can't I, I don't think i'll be able to play it to you you, me... you don't think you'll be able to trap chat on it uh, <laughs> let me let me have a look let me have a look uh, i know that in, in one of one of because i checked them all yeah against uh content id system <laughs> Yeah, a moment like that, yeah? yeah. Super rude. I should stop it, because they will demonetize it for language. <laughs> yeah, listen to it at home. Um, yeah, it's not this song that... Uh, well, here we have some... Again, not much going on, yeah? Dan for them. Bachata bongos. I'll stop here for a moment because what, what happens in here when you analyze, uh, analyze this song for yourself, you will notice that it has different names for instruments. So bongo and guira are uh, section together. Kick drum. Kick drum, okay. Kick drum, you know kick drum, that's like uh, one that you, oh, yeah, yeah. You, you, you step with your yeah, foot, yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah. big standing drum uh, in a drum kit. Uh, so drum kit is a part of modern uh, bachata as well. Mm. Uh, and you have uh, synthesizers and pads, yeah? So again, all different noises like, I don't know, uh, the, it's a very common, very common sound coming in bachata is a like kind of like steam comes like you okay. know from steam machine uh, they, they do that a lot yeah, they, yeah now they, they, they yeah. like to make, make um, the song spicier kick drum kick drum in bachata uh, it, it can play in various moments but very often it plays just simply on the beat and this is exactly what it's here and if i add bongo and guira Bass. bass sounds a lot more synthesized than real with some effects on it but again that's a modern bachata for you i will just move a bit down here uh, segunda and requinto so what is segunda and what is requinto let's play them separately let's go to the verse 
So this is the rhythm guitar. Dum da 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 um pa um pa. Very similar to previous one, isn't it? Mm. So yeah. th this song, this song is very modern. It it is a cover. Still the same rhythm. Yeah, it, mm. yet it has. And the quinto is. That was nice break as well and re-enter on five. But again, when it comes to structure, we'll get back to that, we'll get back to that. But have in mind that in modern bachata or in bachata moderna or in um, bachata sensual, you have all this other new uh, modern instruments uh, and, I and will, the old ones uh, yes I, I i just i just opened this i will not play it because it will definitely uh, demonetize us with if i play uh, danny j but i wanted to just to show you the um, sounds and instruments that they are using and they are exactly the same plus synthesizers and, and, and strings as well so you have uh, lead guitar you have rhythm guitar bass guira bongos and vocals so super basic arrangement um, the same as in previous songs. Mm. Okay, I hope that this uh, opens up your minds a bit. Now, this is not the end. Are we done? <laughs> uh, we, we are done for this section. We are done for uh, okay. for, for explaining the, the instruments. And now, you will understand it better. You will hear it better. Hopefully. If you, if you visualize, visualize it. So, um, I think this guy really deserves the credit. Oh, credit. Yeah. So, emusicality.co.uk Go there, check it out and spend some time analyzing the songs. There are six songs in here. There are six songs in here. Actually, this Old Town Road is <laughs> quite interesting. It's a kind of country song made in the bachata. We have to play this at the party. I, I can't, again, I can't play it now because yeah. it will demonetize us. Um, but you can see a country guitar even as, a, as, as an instrument. I think he's added more songs now before there were less. Yeah, there were less, yeah. yes. There, he's, there still, he's still working yeah, on yes, it. Yes, yes, definitely. And, it's a, this. And, it's, and he's doing a great job, honestly. I mean, like, he has yeah, to be... Yeah, I think it's, it's fantastic he, too. He has to be appreciated. You know, he's put in because he realized there was a problem. You know, he identified the problem. This, this is definitely a solution for many. <laughs> Unfortunately, because, people face that problem. Yeah, yeah, you know? definitely. Because for salsa, we I have did, tools. I still do at times. Mm. For salsa, we have tools. We yeah. have uh, uh, salsa rhythm up. There is percussion tutor. There, there is a lot of um, there are a lot of elements uh, even covered when it comes to Afro-Cuban music or rumba and, and, and Afro-Brazilian music, but not much for bachata. And, and this is and bachata. And bachata, bachata is simple music, yet tricky. Hmm. It tricks you. Hmm. You know, from time to time, after every four eights, it will trick you, hmm. and you'll be like, oh. So, so, so this guy did a very good job. Yeah. So and, what, what I advise you to do, guys, open the song, press play, and step by step, try to remove and add up back instruments, yeah? So let's say I start at the beginning. Maybe we'll skip, skip it. And now let's, let's hear how it sounds with bow to the guitar. No big difference, yeah? But if I take bass out and rhythm guitar, and I'll bring them back. But if you take bongos out, oh, yeah, of, course, <laughs> of course, of course, of course, <laughs> kill the song. of course. Uh, I mean, kill the song. No, Actually, I mean, you know, it will make a big okay, difference. Okay, let's do this. I took away bongo and bachata, sorry, bongo and twira, maybe bass as well. Sounds like a yeah, pop song. Intro. It, 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 it sounds like it's going somewhere and something's gonna come yeah. into it more into mind. This song is still quite good, there, there are still many traditional elements in it. Especially, yeah. da, ba, 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 ba. Da frio, Oh, that sounds more like pop. But still, the songs that he prepared, they are very good in, in context of giving you these basic rhythms in a repeatable way. So rhythm guitar, 
gives you this one rhythm boom all the way through bass the same guira bongos obviously with some improvisations even on top of that getting used to improvisation and being able to get back to the basic rhythm this is very important both from music perspective and from dancing point of I view think, i think it's done, done a great deed to bachata dancing community yeah yeah i agree <laughs> i agree this is this is this is very very cool okay so um again play around with it it's like it's, it's, it looks may look like we are um, promoting him or anything we, and we have him. got nothing to do with we him. Don't know him we've got nothing to do with him we've not seen the guy we don't know who he is he, he, he you just mentioned that yeah. he's from London we yeah. don't even know yeah but it, the what he's done it looks it looks good and it's, yeah, it's very it's useful de definitely uh, deserves the credit good luck to him good luck um, to everyone yeah, who's maybe dancing. one day who knows maybe we'll invite him for some yeah, musicality yeah. workshop yeah, it's yeah London's not nice. far away uh, anyway the point is to spend some time with it, uh, to um, explore it by yourself, to try these different songs that we couldn't play um, on YouTube. And we'll meet again and we'll discuss the next part, which will be the structure of the song. As you can see, this uh, blue, orange, green uh, fields on top, they have different names, they have different use in the song. Uh, and different interpretation when it comes to dancing. And we'll try to reflect on that next time. So if you want to watch that, like, subscribe and press the bell. Like, subscribe and press the bell. You can follow us on Facebook, on Instagram. Can you, can you say that in bachata rhythm? Bachata rhythm. <laughs> like. No. <laughs> Let me think about it. Da, 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 no. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Like, subscribe and press the bell. Like, subscribe and press the bell. That will be in bachata. Two, three, that will be in bachata, five, six, bachata seven, bass rhythm. That will one, be my bachata two, three, bass rhythm. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, um, you can become a member. Uh, of our channel you can support us by pressing the join button under the video we appreciate all your support and, and big shout out to Susan from Germany who uh, sent us very generous donation all this helps to build our channels big thank you, thank uh, you. and yeah if you support our channel if you like what we are doing um, you can become partially a part of it. Uh, you can also obviously leave the comments and uh, if there are some ideas that uh, you would like us to cover in the next Bachata Lab or any other video that we are doing. Um, yeah, we are always happy to read your thoughts. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you.